Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about how to use data table with Laravel tense. Now I create one project about Laravel tense, so we go to CMD. I switch to dry C. I want to create the project in dry C. And then I create the project composer create projects. Lara wells, Lara wells equal ten point zero, and the Lara well name is Lara well hands db dts. Okay, it means data table in this. Download the project is finished so close it i open it with vs code i use vs code to develop the project so i open the project i go to in dry c okay laravel tens dt like on it okay here is our project so now we need to install the laravel data tables so we go to new terminals and then we run composures require jajara laravel data tables it hurts download is finished so now we go to config folder app.php we looking for providers so here is provider and we add some code here Zajara Data Tables Data Tables Service Providers Class and then we scroll down to a list a list here we Write some codes. Data tables. Ja ja share table. Facet. Data table class. Let me save it. Now we publish it. I clear this. We write PHP artisan vendor publish provider equal yajara. Data table service providers. Okay, in third, some code is wrong. Ever let me check. Okay, the mistake here. Yes. Let me save it. And run the command again. Okay, it's success. Now we create one model. I clear this. I create the model with migration file. So PHP artisan makes model. My model name is customer. 
and I use this M. That means that I create um, one model and one migration file. Let me enter it. Okay, you can see here is migration file and here is the models. So I go to migration store three that the best it is migration. So he it is by default for user migration here. So let me copy this. I don't want to write a little bit fast. So let me delete this. This name here I use genders email and address okay let me save it and then I go to dot env on database here I put database name is laravel 10 dts I copy this save this one I go to my local hall here I create one database called Ravel 10 DB. Create it. Okay, it's working fine. So I clear this command and I run PHP uh, at the same migrate. Let me check. Okay, you can see here is the table customer. So I insert some record in here. Tara. Gmail.com. USA. Philly. Philly. Okay, we have to record here. Now we create the data tables for view customer list. So I click this command HP at the same. That that tables makes my data table name is customer. Third, okay. So we go to app that that table here is customer. Okay, you can see here. So now I create one controller. So HP at the same makes controller. My controller name is customer controller resource three. I want to create the default function and default route so and go to apps http controller here is the customer controller then I write return you I don't have the the view yet, so I go to resource view. I create one folder customers inside customer. I create uh, index dot that dot php. And here I write. <laughs> Okay, 
hello customers let me save it I go back to controller on index function I use customers dot index okay let me save it and then I go to route so here I use controller resource so route I just write route resource okay sorry my route is customer and here is the customer controller class okay. let me save it then I start the project it is PHP artisan serve Okay, it's working now I want to use to show the record here on index and using with data table so I go to data data tables data table yes The column here, yes, I don't want to use make and I don't want to use these two columns and I want to show name. Sorry, so I show gender. Email and also address. Let me save it and then I go back to you in the tablet of PHP. So I will write some code here. The HTML here, import some link in here. So, here is my link. You can see it's, it, it's a little bit too long, so I need to copy it. It made me faster. So, I copy this. I go in here and pass this. And you can see here is the cndn. Yes, okay. That net here is it for bootstrap files, and we have jQuery. Okay, we have some uh, bootstrap in here. So I need another link here is the data table. Okay, so I need to. Okay. Script. Okay, I pass here. Mm -hmm. Then I write some code here. Do sorry. Then in this I use class cards in here do you crush a card body then here I uh, I 
so data table here is data table mm -hmm. I just put some class here tables table border and here is two that's right so in this use tables Script. Sorry. Database script. Okay. Save it. Then I move to our controller again. In here, I need customer. Data table and here is data table. Okay, here I use um, so data table render. Okay. Let me save it and I go to our project and refresh it again. Okay, it's here and let me check the error. What is the error? In my coding, go to index. Okay, let's see the index here. This be to this here. I delete this. Let me pass it in here. Okay. So close this. Let me rephrase it again. Okay, so now it's working. Working is our data table, and so the record like this. Okay, so I will show you the next video how to um, uh, download all this library, or you can import it in your projects, and you can also we have the uh, edit. Uh, button here okay so we will design this more beautiful so this this is the first step for using data table for with Laravel 10 so thank you for watching we will see you the next video